Alright guys, Black Horse here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2018 for the fourth stage of the 2019 Paris-Nice between Vichy and Pelusin, uh, the first hilly stage uh, of the tour, or of the race should I say, uh, which means that we're finally gonna have um, some like interesting things uh, to, to do in the race. Uh, if you haven't watched the three previous stages uh, then please uh, go ahead and watch them so that you will understand what's going on GC wise. Um, and um, I'm just going to show the top three right now with uh, the leader Mark Cavendish in second position it's the Jan Bovisma uh, sprinter Dylan Hoenewegen and Caleb Ewan is third uh, we've got Benoît Cosnefroy in fourth place who's got two podiums uh, somehow on Paris-Nice so you know what uh, I'll take that but yeah uh, first actual stage uh, in my opinion we're entering Romain Bardet's territory uh, so he will probably be eager to do well uh, we've got three second category climbs, one third category climb, and one first category climb. And before uh, I uh, launched the stage, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to uh, Benji Nezen. Uh, if you know my channel, you probably know him uh, for like shouting my channel out uh, in his uh, Strade Bianca video. I'm just doing this right now, uh, some days after he did, because uh, I'm recording nearly all my videos in a, bu in a bunch. Uh, and yeah, I didn't have the time to do it before, but yeah, thank you very much, uh, really means a lot. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into the race, and hopefully uh, we can get something good with Romain. We're on the starting line for uh, the fourth stage of the Paris-Nice, and uh, immediately I'm disappointed because we've got Romain on a minus two. Not that bad, uh, he doesn't lose any points in hills, which, I mean, is the best thing for us. Um, I'd rather him... Uh, I'd rather see him losing points in like flats or something like that. Uh, we've got Tony on the plus one, so he'll be able to um, help Romo, which is good. Uh, Mathias on a zero, Michael Chirel on a minus one. Still got a plus one mountain and hill, so I'll take that. Uh, we're going to send Michael in the breakaway, by the way. We haven't been uh, at all in the breaks during this tour, and uh, I think it's finally time to do so. Uh, if we can get like the Polkadot jersey, that would be absolutely brilliant for the team. Uh, it's a French race, so obviously French sponsor, if I can get something good, um, I I'll take that. We've got a breakaway uh, right now with uh, Nicolas Dede and Jonathan Hiver, we're trying to follow. Uh, Mauro Finetto for Delco Marseille and us uh, in Michael Cherel for Régis de Zerla Mondial. Uh, Mathias Le Tournier is just behind with Arthur Vichot, so they've already, ha they've already got points for the, the Polkadot jersey, which is a bit sad, uh, but then at the same time, I think I can do something uh, regarding um, like my ability to climb, I guess. Ignatas Cunevalovas has attacked for FDJ, uh, Giulio Ticcione for Czech Sigafredo, Pierre-Luc Perichon for Cofidis, so we might have two Cofidis riders at the front if uh, a junction is uh, operating. We've got yet another attack in the peloton, no we don't. It was just uh, Christian Corin going at the top, at the front, sorry. Uh, 2.3 kilometers away from the KOM, I don't think Mika will be able to join them. So the leader uh, of the KOM will be in the breakaway, Nicolaide, former winner of the Mountain Jersey on the Vuelta, uh, tries to attack. Jonathan Hiver immediately, immediately sorry, takes his wheel, Mauro Finetto is there as well. Nicolaide is not going to be able to make it, can Jonathan Hiver get the points? Yes, he can. Jonathan Hiver, Mauro Finetto and Nicolaide is the first KOM um, ranking for the day. We're in fourth position with uh, with Mika, so we don't get any points. But yeah, uh, I'll see you later in the stage. Hopefully, we can make the junction with the breakaway. We probably will. And um, yeah, see you later in the stage. All right, it took some time, uh, but the breakaway is finally re re regrouped. Uh, I had like joined before the intermediate sprint, um, but they all attacked for the sprint. Obviously, uh, I didn't because I never do that. Uh, which let in um, well, which no wait English. Uh, it led, there we go, uh, it led into uh, Cheryl being a minute behind, but uh, we've uh, we've brought it back. Peloton is pacing for some reason, uh, there's like 120 kilometers, they've already gone a minute, uh, they've got a minute back on us, so I don't know what's that for. I'm a bit disappointed. Uh, but yeah, maybe uh, we'll try and do something, uh, something, sorry, in like the late part of the stage, uh, if the breakaway gets caught up. Don't know if it will happen. Don't really care to be honest. Uh, I'm, pro I'm probably going to do something, uh, maybe with Matthias Frank. I don't know, uh, but we'll have to see that uh, in the uh, next part of the stages. 
for now. Uh, sit rep, 2 minutes 15 is our lead over a peloton led by uh, Team Sky, Movistar and Astana. So uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, we're in the uh, second category climb. I've been a bit dropped with Mika. Um, I just didn't follow the attacks for some reason. Matt Luturini is probably going to get the points. Um, if we can take like second, that'd be great. No, we're not even going to take a single point, so that's, that's a bit disappointing. Um, yeah, Matthias Saturni is the virtual uh, polka dot jersey for now. So, like, we still have hope. There's a first category climb that's coming up, and hopefully we can do something there. Peloton is very uh, spread out, and I do not like that. So, Bardet, you're going to try and stay up there. Galopin and Franck have been dropped. Oh, they've... They're not where I want them to be in the peloton, so they're gonna have to come back. Uh, but yeah, and, uh, I think nine kilometers left before the next climb. We're just gonna get water with uh, Mika Sherel in the break. <coughs> My voice is gone. I don't know what's going on. Um, Kostnikov, you're gonna try and you know what, stay up there. If you can keep a top ten spot at the end of the stage, that would be absolutely brilliant. Um, Forty six kilometers remaining in the break. Uh, well, in the stage, should I say? We've got Galopin uh, at the front of the peloton, so that's all good. Borde is there, so that's good. Master Strong's a bit behind, uh, I'm not a big fan of that. But I think uh, we'll, like, he'll do something about that. Uh, is he a good descender? He's not, that's good. Uh, Kusnefroy is going to try and avoid getting blocked by the entire population. Thank you very much. And we're in the first category climb. We're going to try and uh, make something happen with Mika Sherel. On the left hand side of the road, we're gonna try and pace. Um, right now, it's Mauro Finetto who's doing the job with uh, Nicola Ede in his wheel. There's three Kofidis riders in the break. I hadn't noticed. Uh, okay, wait. Um, Peloton is there. Or there or there about. Um, there's a bit of a flat bit, and then I should be Gucci. Uh, we're gonna try and follow the attack of Jonathan Hiver. Who's following uh, Nicolai there? Alright. Not the biggest of attacks. One kilometer to go until the KOM. Nicolai there steps out. I think he's gone. I think he's done for the day. Nicolai de, um Jonathan Hiver on Mika Sherel. Can I overtake him on the line? Come on. I've been blocked. Uh, okay. It's not over yet. It's not over. We can still do that. We can still do that. Come on. Uh, Kuznefra has been dropped sadly alongside the yellow jersey. Uh, not surprising. I thought that was great for the Nets, Gilbert. Um, we still have the, the, the nine men breakaway. We're going to just chill a bit with Mika Sherel in the group. Uh, avoid taking relays. Avoid doing anything, actually. That was the most, actually, like, with the most French accent I've ever said. Actually. Um, <laughs> don't know what I'm doing. Bardet uh, and Galopin, you can go to 80. Try to stay up there uh, alongside uh, the, uh, the favorites. I'm very, I'm quite worried about Bardet, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Galopin, I'm fine. Bardet, I'm a bit worried. Then again, I don't think there's gonna be any gaps, uh, or any major gaps, at least. Breakaway is gonna get brought back by the peloton, uh, which means we're gonna have 80 men uh, with 30 kilometers remaining in this fourth stage of Paris-Nice. Uh, oh, why? That's a, okay, that's a wall. Uh, try and make sure that all riders are fine. Yeah, they are. Right, Peloton is now uh, regrouped. We've got Mika Sherel still leading. Um, I'm hoping that someone like Hiver Perichon just like decides to drop back. And then I can go for like the KOM. Like, if the Peloton could uh, pace. There we go, that's what they're going to do. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant tactics from PCM right there. Bardet, you're gonna stop, Chief. Thank you. Galopin, you can stop as well. Alright, Mika Sherel, 1.6 km to go until uh, until the summit of the uh, Côte de Saint-Michel sur Rhône. Mika Sherel takes a bit of a lead as well, uh, so that should be good for him to get some points. Uh, but I don't know how many I got uh, on the, uh, the previous climb. Let's see uh, as we cross the line in first position. Chavez takes second, Jonathan Hiver is still provisional leader, uh, but Mikael is now second with 15 points, so that's not bad. So that's not bad at all. Matthias Franck is here, but he's absolutely knackered. Uh, okay. Well, I don't think anything is going to happen until like the next climb, so I think I can fast forward 
and see you there. Uh, so I just checked where Benoit Cosnefroy was. He's with Bargill. So I did well not to take Bargill because I think uh, that would have been very disappointing. Um, six kilometers to go until the next climb. Well, sorry, the next KOM. Shirel is still here. He's still within a chance of being um, Polka de Jersey at the end of the day. So we're going to try everything we can uh, with him. I don't know if... Uh, wait, let's just pause this for a sec. Is Jonathan Iver here? He is. Jonathan Iver is here, so that's going to be our main focus here, to avoid uh, Jonathan Iver getting points. He's badly placed in the peloton. Uh, my main worry is that a leader could attack, because that's the final climb. And uh, it's well known that in the final climbs, leader try their best to attack. Kunovalovas is attacking. That's not nice. Alright, Jim Pedruka is now pacing. Uh, we're pacing as well with Barde. Well, pacing. We're staying at the front with Barde. There we go. Galopin, you can stop as well. Shirel is still uh, within a chance. There's an attack. There's two attacks actually, and I've been absolutely slow to react. Well done. Gilbert is attacking with Dylan Sons, Mihal Kutkowski, Sergio Nao, and Miguel Angel Lopez. Mika Shirel is just behind. Well done. He's done everything he could. Um, Alright. Now. What are we going to do? Uh, I need to be smart, which is not something I'm used to do. Um, let's let's pace with Galopin. Let's pace with uh, with uh, with Tony. I think he's our only option right now of uh, maybe getting something with Bardet. And actually, uh, yeah, okay. Bardet is, is uh, has quite a decent sprint uh, ability. There's another attack here. That's Mihal Kutkowski, followed by Bob Jungles. Dylan turns and Rigoberto run. Gilbert is still in our wheel. 4.5 km to go. Dylan turns is out. Dylan turns is out. Michal Kutkowski and Bob Jungles taking a, a bit of a lead. As Tony Galopin now uh, tries to reel them back. There we go. Job done. 13 people remaining in the peloton. 3 km to go. There's a bit of a descent. I think Romain can probably try and attack here. Um, I shouldn't have stopped with Galopin. That was dumb. Uh, okay. Bardet, Kutkowski. The win is going to be for the Polish champion. Second place will be for Sonny Colbrelli. Nice. Pr oh, wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. Is he going to get jumped? He is. He is. It's an L for Mihal Kutkowski. The win is for Sonny Colbrelli from Bahrain Merida. Kutkowski second. Michael Matthews third. Uh, Gilbert Uran Caleb Ewan. Roma Caleb Ewan sixth. Okay. Bardet seventh. Galopin Conrad Bum Jungles. Simon Yates, the Marquin, Miguel Andre Lopez. Uh, Nara Quintana and Mark Soler just finished now. Oliver Nazan is not going to be far. There he is. Um, the former Belgian champion who's done a, sol a stellar work here today for, um, for Romain. He's going to take a solid 22nd place. Okay. Uh, just going to check who's going to be last. It's going to be a battle between these four. And um, see you on the podiums. We are in Pelusin. On the podiums, as Sonny Colbrelli, the sprinter uh, for Baron Merida, raises his hand uh, to get uh, this first place trophy. Kiedkowski thought he had it. Uh, he, he was cocky enough to raise his, uh, his arms on the finish line. Uh, he got overtaken. So yeah, that, that's an L. Caleb Ewan stays in... Uh, no, takes the yellow jersey, actually. Sorry. Colbrelli, Mehal Kiedkowski, Michael Matthews, Tony Galopin is in fifth. So our first rider, uh, GC-wise. Mountain-wise, Jonathan Hiver for Direct Energy takes the jersey with Michael Sherel just uh, shy, no, just two points shy, sorry, of uh, the former Belkin, I think, rather, if I'm correct. Um, green jersey is solidly um, worn by Caleb Ewan. Not even solidly, because he's only four points ahead. But I don't really care. <laughs> Caleb Ewan is also in white, so Caleb Ewan at the middle stage of Paris has, four, has three out of four jerseys. However, we're the best team, so that's that's all good. That, that's something. Uh, next, that's the GC. Uh, sorry, that's the stage classification for you. Um, I'm just gonna like go like that until uh, 50th position. Then I don't really care about them. Uh, but yeah, the win is for Colbrelli, as I said, a countless amount of times now. Seventh and eighth uh, for Bardet and Galopin. Solid work because uh, Bardet was in the minus two, so I'm happy with that. Uh, DC wise Bardet is now 12th uh, in the same second as, as uh, Galopin. Our only like the only guy that's got a bit of a lead is Kipkowski. He's 12 seconds ahead of us now, but it shouldn't be an issue. Quintana and Mark Soler are nearly a minute behind, so that's going to be tough for them. 
Wilco Kelderman. Very tough for him as well. He's been dropped. Uh, we've lost Hinao and Pudzovivo. Uh, Hinao, was he the leader for UAE? Uh, I think he was. Yeah, he was. Pudzovivo, probably the leader for Baran Rarida as well. Uh, Chavez has been dropped. Egan Bernal has been dropped for Team Sky. He was my favorite uh, for the tour. But um, yeah, if you enjoyed the stage, please let me know in the comments down below. And also, uh, like, leave a like um, on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Uh, I'm uh, gonna upload uh, daily until at least Sunday. Uh, like, it's gonna be even double uploads until Sunday. Uh, and then I'm gonna be uploading daily until next Wednesday. I think that's when Terreno ends. Um, and uh, yeah, follow me on my social medias down. Uh, the links are in the description down below. You've got my Twitter and my Instagram. Uh, but I hope you've had an amazing day. I've been Blackwall. It's been a pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye.